Shattered glass covering the street. More than 100 cars damaged by two people with a BB gun in Commerce City. Good evening, I'm Jacqueline Allen. And I'm Tom Mustin. Thank you for joining us tonight. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez is live in a stretch where several of those cars were hit. And Lance, police say calls are still coming in tonight. Lots of people dealing with the damage. And Jacqueline, they're not very happy. Many of them waking up to find bits of pieces of broken glass like this one here on their driveways or on the streets in front of their homes. Some families had more than one vehicle hit, some of them having a difficult time finding replacement glass. I'm assuming it was dumb fun, but I mean, wasn't too fun for us. Shattered window after shattered window after shattered window. Residents on the south side of Commerce City dealing with a mess. This is the box of glass Chamil Duran collected from his dad's, mom's, and his cars. His uncle's was hit too. I, I was pretty pissed. Uh, and then um, I called 911 and they told me to uh, hold up a bit because there is uh, 25 other reports. Police busy well into the night tonight talking to victims. Stephanie Molinar home when her grandparents' car was sideswiped. Like around 2, 3 in the morning, I did hear something. I just didn't come outside. Up the block, Wanda Peach's Mercury Topaz suffered a blow to the front driver's side window. She and her son spent all day long looking for a replacement. Horrible. We've called multiple glass companies and junkyards, and we're having a horrible time finding a window for that car because it is a 94. This is one of two individuals believed responsible. 21-year-old Thomas Medina. Police found him and a 15-year-old boy after receiving a report of a suspicious vehicle in the area. They also found a pellet gun and ammo. People whose cars were targeted, just grateful arrests have been made. Cover City never seemed like that, but it seems like it's happening more often now. Now, car owners just wondering if they'll get restitution. Medina and the juvenile now facing multiple counts of criminal mischief. Medina himself also facing a possible charge of contributing to the delinquency of a minor. In Commerce City, Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. So much damage. Thank you, Lance.